Hi guys, Starquip here um, for Star Trek Fleet Command. I recorded a video last night and uploaded it, then found out it had no sound, so I removed it. And this is the video I'm about to play. Um, I think it's when I run out of hard drive space on the um, iPad. For some reason, when you upload it, the sound doesn't go, just the movie, the video. Um, because there's sound, as you're about to find out when I push play. So... Yeah, not quite sure what happens when it gets full, but I must check it more often before I make videos, okay? So we'll play this video and I might say something at the end. Um, put a ticket in for it, but basically I did not spend money doing uh, advancing in the tree and so I didn't collect the, even though I completed every day, I didn't get enough points to collect the final, the bonus one. Um, yeah, I think I made a video. I'll have a look at it later. But what I was going to talk about today was I have done something today and I put in this crew on my Enterprise. Can we have a look? And I put this on my jelly. And what I found is I can come into Kronos. I mean... Yeah, Kronos. And I can do this. Come on, show me a system. Sips. I use the end of the jelly to hit the heavies and use the Enterprise to hit the non heavies. And pretty much can just farm a system this way. The jelly kills about six heavies. Um, I didn't quite count how many the um, Enterprise kills, but nowhere near is what the jellyfish would but the jellyfish can't there's not enough ships in here to kill so this way it helps spawn the non heavies quicker so basically you're just flying around just killing i just got to make sure i click the right ship at the right time <laughs> make sure when i'm on the jelly it hits the heavies and the enterprise it's the non heavies and i I haven't been, I've done about 25 ships in here so far, and it seems to be working quite good. Um, it just looks like I have finally got to a point I cannot find any non-heavies. So it may not be working as good as I thought it might be. But because I can put um, Picard on, here we go, Picard on the jelly, and he can kill just as good as what Ker, um, Pike can means I can do it this way so it's gonna make farming in here a lot easier yes it's only six heavies I'm killing but it's helping which should you would think help the spawning of the non heavies um, like I've now I killed over 25 because if I come in here as you can see 25 um, ships here killed so I can claim the Romulan and the Federation ones. So that helps me do my dailies a lot quicker. You used to have to fly to all three systems to be able to do it. And now, as you can see, I'll even show you how long it has taken me to do it by just going to here. So I started doing this, what? There's a heavy, heavy, So it must have been, so it's taken me 16 minutes to kill more than 25 of those ships to be able to, um, to complete my dailies. Where before it used to take longer because there was less normal ones to go around killing. And um, yeah, so found, yes, having Picard, he's at tier 2 at the moment and so is Beverly. So, we're just trying to get him to come up. Whoops, yep, here he is. So I've got Beverly and Picard. I forget which way to name his skin, but um, you can just tell by looking at her. Um, so they're on the jelly, and they're killing heavies quite easily. As in six, and that's all it would do, even if I put the Picard on. Oh, not Picard. <laughs> Pike 
and Mo I'm not very good with names, sorry. Put these two on and use the other one. So it has been very handy getting a card this month. It's going to make this so much quicker for me. I can spend the whole day in Kronos or spend the whole day in Romulus and farm ships. Doesn't mean I'm going to get any better rewards because it doesn't seem to work that way as good as what it used to when you used to come and farm in here. But um, yeah, I just thought, okay, I'll give it a check because I was sort of watching or listening to, I should say, listening to um, Ultimate DJ the other day and he was saying, asking someone to come in and farm the heavies for him. I thought, wait a minute. If you can use the Picard crew on the jelly, this might work. So I thought, okay, I've got even done today and got nothing else to do. Well, let's come and give it a go. And, um, yeah, it seems to be working quite good. Um, okay, so where is he? This will probably kill him. But there's no one else hanging around in here, so I'm not going to see another single... Actually, is spawning very quickly. I'm talking about the non-heavies. I'm able to... It is working. This trick... Um, I'm also just ramming him into another ship so that I can get him back here. But if we count it, I counted it last time and it was six. So one, two, three, four, five, six... Well, that's, that maybe one of them wasn't completely dead. Oh, that one wasn't. So, yeah, so it's only the six and a bit, if you get lucky and one's not finished. I haven't counted how many the Enterprise is doing, but the Enterprise doesn't cost as much to repair as the jelly, so it's not really bothering me too much how much it's costing to um, repair the, the jelly. Um, speed ups is not much of a problem, especially if I can be able to farm these systems so much quicker now and not have to wait. Or what I used to do is go around and kill them in, in the jelly, the heavies, then go back and kill them with the um, kill the normal ones, but someone else would come in here and take them on me. So this way I can harvest them myself. And just sit in a system and doing this until someone else comes along and can see what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I thought this was quite a good little thing to do. Um, I was working on trying to get... I'm using... Um, what's it called now? Oh. Okay, guys. Now, what I was about to say there, I can put that in now. Basically, I've been trying for the last couple of weeks to learn how to use OBS and get that all working. I have multiple um, screens set up now. And so I can sort of show you some of the things I've been talking about in the last couple of weeks. And um, so, yeah, but what happened was I was all ready to go and then the mic cable broke. So I've got to go out now. I'm just about to go and go and buy a cable new cable for my microphone it's sunday here so the only place i can think of going is office works um and hopefully they've got one that's not gonna be too expensive it, it was a very expensive microphone and the stupid cables looks like it's broken hopefully that's what's broken and um yeah and i'll be able to record this the video using obs with multiple screens and be able to do things similar things that um rev and no and shell and all that sort of stuff do so it it's a lot more working bulbs in doing all that sort of stuff, but I also want to get a capture card so I can import this into the computer as well and be able to um, do a bit more showing you things and than just doing it this way. The way I normally do is we just, just push record um, with the iPad itself and the microphone's not as good. And the other thing I can you can tell that the sound was on is the little orange dot in the corner there the top right hand corner there's a little orange dot that tells me that the mic's on i wish it had a different color to tell me when it was recording because the, the only way you'd know is you drag down or is it up you go no i can't remember i think it's, if you go here see it's got the record 
So I wish they'd put out like a different colour light, like a red light just to show you that it's recording and then a, the orange light to show you that your sound is recording. That'd be the only thing I'd say about the iPad. But, um, and you can't really connect a microphone to it. You've got to use their mics and unless you get the thing that I'm trying to buy, the adapter, to see if that will help. It goes on the side, then I have HDMI going out, then I need a HDMI card in the computer to capture the HDMI. And then I can use OBS to record it and I can have multiple screens happening and be able to play around and, yeah, see how we go and have fun and trying to make better videos with the limited time I have. <laughs> but, um, Arc 2, part, the only good thing about it was Picard. I'm sorry, the, apart from that, I like I was trying to get at, at the start of the video, is that I did complete the whole tree but I didn't get the final bonus bonus because for some reason I thought you didn't have to buy a pack to get that and um, I know I did everything every day and I didn't get it I thought I recorded a video about that I've tried to have a quick look through it before I did this and couldn't find it so um, maybe because the hard drive was full it didn't save or something and yeah who knows what happened but yeah hopefully the sound works on this one Sorry about those that guys who actually got to see the video before I cancelled. I what it was I changed it and didn't click save, so it uploaded, um, shared to a few. I've seen at least four people seen it, so I'm sorry. Um, yeah, hopefully this one will work. Catch us later. Thank you for watching, and thank you for those who have been subscribing, even though I haven't been making as many videos as I would like to. But at the same time, there hasn't been all that much to talk about apart from. Picard and he has been worth it I don't know if he's going to be worth maxing because going from tier 1 to tier 2 didn't seem to make all that much difference at all um, same with Beverly they haven't made a great deal but this way of being able to use two systems a farmer system is mind blowing to me um, it's going to make dailies a lot easier Yes, it's still going to cost as much, but I don't have to spend, go from system to system and then go back again if I didn't get the 25. Because I wonder how some of you guys go on bigger servers that when you have more than a lot more people at level 35, at level 39, or don't even have to be level 39, I don't think, to kill these ships in Klingon, Kronos. Um, we don't have that many, as people complain about how many players we have on this server. But I just imagine being on a local like server I'm on it, mucking around with at the moment on 63, I think it is. There's a lot more players on that. And I imagine when I get, get up to, we get up to the deep space, it's not going to be as easy as what it is on server 192 to be able to do everything. You, even when you're doing leaderboards, there's so many more people you've got to try and beat. So... I'm not complaining about there being limited people on the server. I'm sorry. Um, it makes the leaderboards a lot easier. <laughs> that's my opinion about it, and that's all I'm going to say. So, catch us later. I don't have to spend as much, other words. I didn't say that, did I? <laughs> catch us later, and thank you again. This is Starquip signing off, and catch us later.